Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 57 of our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about hygen belongs to many association and we also implemented many to many relationship between student and courses model. In this lecture, we're going to discuss about another way for implementing a many to many relationship uh, between two models using has many through association. And we will see that in detail and we will also see that how this association work. So first let's uh, the understand the difference between has and belongs to many and has many through. So what has and belongs to many does that uh, let's open your project, open the students model. rb and now open your course project as well, course model as well okay so here you can see that uh, both of these model have direct many to many association using a joint table and they are implementing has and belongs to many courses and has and belongs to many students but has and belongs has many throw is different from has and belongs to many here we have a third table but we also have model for for that third table as well and we just make has many throw association here or we connect two models through a third model here okay so let's see how this works so we will uh, implement many to many using has many throw here uh, with students and we will create another model that is project so a student can have many projects and uh, on a project multiple students can also work so we will add project mo model here first and then we will implement has, an, has many to many relationship between students and projects okay now let's first generate this scarf fold for that project let's uh, exit this rails g scarf fold project and just make it a bit like a name sorry name uh, a string and description text and uh, yeah for only two attributes enough for now okay so this will generate a scaffold of projects and uh, let's run the migration rails db migrate Now when the migration runs, you can see uh, a project table in your, the migration has worked. So you can see the project table in your schema. Now we need to add third model to implement many to many between students and project. So let's open your project model first. Okay. Now let's create student courses or sorry student projects model as a third model of okay. rails g model sorry student project student references and project references By adding references, you it also means that you are adding primary keys of uh, student and project model a uh, project model in this uh, table. But it means that uh, it make it null false. It cannot be blank. If you directly add only student ID colon integer project ID colon integer, then it means uh, I, it, these values can be null as well. Okay. Now. It has created another model, create uh, sorry, a student project. So let's open that model first. Here you can see the model. You can see this model belongs to student and project as well. And uh, with migration, you can check here that a student's project is available here. Okay. Reference is student and project foreign key true. Okay. And null false. So this cannot be blank when you create entries for student projects. So now run the migration else db migrate okay. when this migration runs you will see another table in schema that is student projects okay 
with student id and project id now what we need to do that we need to define the association between student and projects now so what we need to do here that uh, first do as many student projects as many projects pro students pro student projects okay. so this is how we can implement has many throw association in a rails application between two models and same we need to do inside the projects model as well so save the file and open your projects model and uh, in the project model just state as many student projects and as many pro students pro projects sorry student projects i'm making this mistake here so now let's save this okay it means we uh, implemented many to many association between students and projects okay but now if you open your schema then you can see that uh, we have only student id and project id created and updated it but we did not add any extra attribute except created it in this index fields okay so we can add a column here uh, and name that column as uh, submit expected submission date so when any student can submit uh, a project so let's add an attribute uh, uh, for that so let's generate a migration sales t migration add submission date to student projects and let's add submission date and type should be date okay and now Okay, here is the mistake. Run the command, migration will be generated, and now Rails DB migrate. Here you will see that uh, I did not uh, change my uh, change method into the migration manually. Why? Because Rails is smart enough when uh, you write Rails migration add and the table name no matter what to add between that so add and table name then it's uh, suppose that you want to add some attribute in that okay now if you open your schema and see the student projects table then you can see a submission date is there now let's run the console just to check that uh, how we can access students and projects okay so let's say student first now we face the student now find student.projects it will return an empty collection here why because we have no entries inside student projects even we do not have projects so far so we cannot uh, provide any entries uh, in project uh, student projects so let's create some projects first project dot create let's make it driver app let's create another project by chain management so two projects enough for now to understand the flow so now we have if you check project.count you can see that we have two projects now now let's create some student projects okay so student project dot create and we will add 
student id here let's say one and project id here let's say one and submission date as eight plus the dot paste eight dot today sorry okay so you can see that one student project has been created now if you face the student projects sorry now one student project has been created now let's face this student project dot last it means student id 1 project id 1 and created it updated it and the submission date is here for 18th of february now what we can do that uh, we have provided a student id here one and project id here one so let's find the student with id one student dot find one okay so here you can check student dot project so here you will see uh, the project for the student now why because now we have projects and we made entries to the student project model with student id 1 and project id 1 so you can see that project 1 is assigned to student 1 similarly you can find project equal to project dot find 1 now you can access project dot students you can see that uh, this student with id1 is assigned to this project using third table and third model so we can clearly see that uh, this has many throw is also implementing the many to many relationship between two models but using a third model not a direct many to many relationship it is using throw a third model so that's why it is called has many throw and it is uh, completely different uh, with uh, hasn't belongs to many because with hasn't belongs to many you saw that we cannot uh, add extra attribute to the joint table and we cannot have callbacks and validation on that joint table because we do not have model for that but with has many throw we can add validations and callbacks to the third model as well and that uh, we will see how we can add validations and callbacks to a model in upcoming lectures but for now you just need to keep in mind that uh, if we have model then it is easily handled to it is very easy to handle the validation and callbacks for a model okay now uh, for example you can see the submission date into the student's project okay so whenever i assign a project to a student i can validate that uh, this project must be submitted at this date or before that so i can uh, add a validation that if project is submitted after that date uh, after the submission date then there will be some issue or notification i can create or i can do not accept that project or i can even add a validation that no projects can be assigned to a student without a submission date so i can handle this call action validations so this is the main difference between has and belongs to many and has many throw so now you have to choose that what is your need and which many to many relationship you want to implement okay and using which association has many throw or has and belongs to many okay i hope i'm not confusing you guys with uh, has in, has many throw and has in belongs to many as i s tell this a lot of time so now uh, since we have clear idea about that so it's the questions time okay so we have only two questions for from this lecture that uh, what is the difference between has many throw and has in belongs to many associations so you must have idea about that and uh, when has many throw is better choice over has and belongs to many. So we discussed that and now I hope you have idea about that. And if you not, if not, then you can practice this at your end and uh, you can learn more better about the many to many association in Rails and ways to implement many to many relationships in Rails. Now, that's all from this 
lecture and we will see uh, another uh, we will see a way of implementing one to one association in upcoming lectures using has one and has one throw okay so thanks for watching this let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe